Hello everyone and welcome to Dino Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace your RV's fresh water tank. If your RV's fresh water tank is leaking, this video may just help you out. Let's begin. So here's a look inside the RV. I'm looking at where the fill hoses come into the fresh water tank. And if you can see, I'm not sure if it picks it up, but there is a crack coming from here up over into here on the top of the tank. And there was another one that came from here all the way down to here. That one there I tried repairing already with some plastic welding and it's been holding up. But now this crack Back here, it goes too far underneath the flooring, so I'm not able to repair it. So we're gonna have to drop this tank down. So I'm gonna be replacing it with this 38 gallon freshwater tank from Alpha. So I contacted Forest River and they were nice enough to send me a new freshwater tank. So the first step I need to do to begin this process is remove the two lines coming in to the top of the fresh water tank. This first line is the overflow one here, which just has a twist on a fitting. And the second one, which is the filler tube, uses a hose clamp. So we'll get this taken off and then we'll climb underneath the RV and show you the rest of the process. Okay, we got the Filling and breather holes removed from the top of our tank. Maybe you can get a little better look now at the crack. Located just above, right up in here. It goes all alongside and then comes over right there. Alright, for the next step, you're going to want to locate where your freshwater tank is located. You can do that by the side of your camper. You can see the freshwater drain is below here. We're gonna go down underneath, we can see the freshwater drain is right there. And if you got a Forest River vibe or something similar, yours is gonna look a little bit like this. This is the protective underbody here. We're gonna remove these bolts on the back section here and up on the front section. And we're gonna drop Make sure you set those off to the side in a place you're not going to lose them. Got it. Got the underbelly removed. Now we have access to the fresh water tank and the support brackets holding it in place. Now the next step is very important. Before you guys go and remove any wiring or try dropping the tank, make sure you power off any power sources. Another very important step is to be sure that your tank is completely empty. With your power off, if you have a heater pad, because you have the cold climate package, on your fresh water tank, you're going to need to locate where the wires are connected. So follow those down and disconnect the wires. Make sure that you mark where the ones where the red wire goes and the white wire goes before you disconnect them or take a photo. Next, you need to locate where your tank sensors are and label those as well. You'll have a white, a yellow, a green and a red. That'll indicate on your in, inside your RV how full your tank is. So make sure you get those labeled so you wire them up correctly. To remove them, just loosen up the outside nut and then you can slip those wires right off. 
All right, with your sensors removed, the next step, we need to remove the water supply line. And I'll show you one of the easier ways to get this removed using the side snips. Let's see if I can get this laying on the ground underneath my camper here. I don't know if this is gonna pick up on camera. I might block it with my hands here, but I'm gonna get behind that tab. And once you get that tab bent straight enough, then you can get behind the end of that hose clamp, get behind that clamp. It's not a very good angle here to be demonstrating this on, but you get the idea. This is how projects go. They're never easy, are they? Sometimes the easy parts are the hard parts. All right, now with that tab bent, you should be able to get behind it with a small flathead screwdriver and break it loose. Just like so here. There it is. And now that you have that popped loose, you can go ahead and pull off your holes. All right. See how easy that was? <laughs> all right. Now that we have all the holes, clamps off, hoses off, wires disconnected, it's time to remove this front support bracket here. To do that, you're going to have two bolts on the side frames. that you're gonna need to remove one on both sides of the coach. And then you can slide this bracket forward and the tank will drop down. Now with those bolts removed, you should be able to slide this bracket forward. In this case, these cross members are welded on the front, so we're gonna tilt it all the way down, we'll hold it up on the tank, and the tank should drop down. All right. Tank is coming down. Just work it real slow. Make sure you don't have it caught on any wires. The tank is fairly light as long as it's empty. It weighs around 25 pounds. There it is. Now we'll slide it out, get the fittings put on the new tank. So all we got left to do to prep the new tank is to remove our heating pad, which is just stuck on there with an adhesive. And we'll go ahead and remove the drain valve hosing. And we'll reconnect it to our new tank. Go real slow with this, guys. It seems like it wants to tear. Be very gentle. Let's keep working it real slow. It'll come off. And we can reapply it to the new tank. All right, so if this is not coming off as easy as you would hope, get out the heat gun and just start applying heat as you pull on the low setting. And it'll start to come off. 
gonna take some time. See that heat really helps that glue release. All right guys, so it's not the prettiest because I should have started using heat right away. I tore the foam back in on the ends over here a little bit, but it, it's not inside of the heating elements. And I tested it, everything's working. And I'll save you a little bit of money instead of buying a new heating tank pad. So the next thing I'm gonna do before I reinstall this tank is test it out. I'm gonna fill it up, check it for any leaks before I install it, because if it is leaking uh, from the start, I don't wanna have to pull it out again. Once I get this tank filled up, inspect it for any leaks and can confirm that it's good to go, I'm gonna then flush it out with a bleach and water solution uh, and flush it good and sanitize it before I reinstall it. It's just easier to do it uh, before it's up and inside. Otherwise you gotta run all that bleach through your lines again. But if this is the first time uh, you're using your RV for the year, it's a good idea to flush out your lines and all your faucets with bleach water solution anyways. So then you can go ahead and reinstall it, do the bleach uh, water treatment system after you have the tank installed. But for my situation, I just did the sanitation a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sanitize this tank before I get it installed. I'm not gonna go ahead and show the whole process of reinstalling this tank. Basically, just do the reverse order that you did when taking it out. You wanna get it set up into place, get those brackets, support brackets back in place and secure down with the bolts. Install your plumbing. Then reconnect your sensor wires. Don't forget to reconnect your heating pad. Then we'll go inside the RV and reconnect our water fill lines and breather tube. And finally, we'll reinstall this matting. It's important to note when reinstalling this bottom matting here that you have all your wires tucked up neatly behind this. Same thing up in the front here. All these wires are just hanging here. Get those all nicely zip tied up into place where they will not get pinched. Make sure you don't have any wires behind any bolts when reattaching them. And finally, the most important step, fill your RV's fresh water tank full, load up all your camping gear and groceries, grab your family and get out to your local campground and enjoy the weekend. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. With a little bit of time and some patience, you can tackle this job by yourself. The most tedious part of this process was removing the tank heater pad. If you have a tank heating pad on your RV, freshwater tank, it's maybe best to just purchase a new heating pad and save the effort and time of removing the old one. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. And if you guys have any other suggestions, tips, or tricks that worked for you in the past, please let us know that as well. As always, thanks for joining me, and remember to get outdoors with Dino. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm about to fade away, cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay. Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place.